I'm glad I got it. Right. I'm, I'm glad I got it because I got my wife, I have my kids, and I want to protect them and want to protect my work, my co-workers. 59-year-old Santa Ana resident Ignacio just got a COVID-19 vaccine, and he feels liberated by it. But in the city of Santa Ana, located in Orange County, he's the aberration. Latinos in Orange County make up 34% of the population, but only 14% of people who received at least one shot. The trend is so disturbing that the city of Santa Ana, which is 80% Latino, rolled out this public service announcement. Santa Ana's mayor calls the lack of vaccines in his city critical. Some people have gone so far as to say that this is public health racism. How would you frame it? Look, I think that's pretty close to accurate because what we saw, especially early on, was when there was when we all knew there was a need here in the city, the resources were going elsewhere. I don't know how else to explain the logic of when you see a problem, you attack it at its source. That wasn't happening here. Studies show Latinos have been hit hard by the virus, exposed on the front line as workers, but at the back of the line for access to vaccines. Some lack computers, and some are just suspicious of the vaccine. Yeah, I prefer to wait for the outcomes of it uh, to see, um, uh, like, if there's bad outcomes more than good outcomes. So, yeah. What is the bad outcome that you're afraid of? <laughs> uh, we need more information about the. You could hear the reluctance in their voices in that last young woman where she said to me she feared death. As far as the vaccines here in Santa Ana, important to note that most Latinos are very young. So, of course, it was the people who were older who were first in line to get the vaccine. Now some of the younger ones will get their turn. But first, officials are going to have to overcome that reluctance by certain groups who are afraid the vaccine will hurt them instead of help them. In Santa Ana, Laura Diaz reporting live. Marlon and Chris, back to you. All right, Laura.